Hey, this is Eddie Muller. Um, my wife is champing at the bit to eat dinner. We're gonna eat this uh, beautiful salad that we made back here. But I realize I, I have to do another one of these videos. Uh, people seem to be enjoying these videos. So this week I am going to prepare a cocktail in honor of the movie that I'm showing on Noir Alley this weekend for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, so what we're going to prepare here is a cocktail called a Mildred Pierce. And this, I guarantee you, will be, at least in terms of the making of it, the simplest cocktail uh, that I've done so far, but it has probably the most uh, complex and wonderful flavor of any of them. So here's what you're gonna need. You get your glass, this is a Nick and Nora with ice to frost it, you get a mixing glass full of ice, and here's what you need. Lemon juice, you need three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. This is what's easy about this recipe, is that everything is done in equal measures. Then you're gonna need Aperol, this fabulous orange liqueur, okay? So you do three quarters of an ounce of Aperol. Now it gets a little trickier, this might be harder to find, but you want creme de pamplemousse, Giffard preferably, creme de pamplemousse, French, for grapefruit. And you want to put in three quarters of an ounce of that, okay? You might be seeing a theme here since the movie is Mildred Pierce and it takes place in California. We've got oranges, grapefruits, and now, perhaps in a contemporary allusion to California, you want mezcal. And not just any mezcal, you want Vida mezcal, okay? Three quarters of an ounce. Of Vida Mezcal. You can actually use any Mezcal. Okay, so that's your combo right there. Take your bar spoon. This cocktail was conceived by a wonderful mixologist named Abigail Gula, and she created this in honor of the movie. So I am not responsible for this. This is Abigail's creation, and it is fabulous. Okay, when that is all done, you are going to dispense with that ice, and you are going to strain this, and it is the most fabulous color, even more beautiful maybe than a fallen angel. Oh, man, that's nice. Okay, and then you wanna garnish that with an orange peel, and you can either do uh, just a traditional straight um, slice of Peel like this, or you can get really fancy and do a, uh, a more elaborate twisty thing here. Usually I make them even more elaborate than that, but there you go, and you can drop that in. Now here's the trick, and I'm just going to show this to you real quick so you can get an idea of how beautiful that color is. Dig that. Isn't that nice? Okay, so Here's the thing, nobody in 1945 had mezcal in their cocktails. That's a totally new thing. Man, that's good. Guys, don't be afraid it's a fruit fruit drink or something. That is absolutely fantastic. But if you're someplace watching Mildred Pierce this weekend and you don't have access to all of these things, after all, you can now get in you know, your corner liquor store pretty much. And my corner liquor store, thank God, has Vita Mesco. Pample Moose is a little trickier. You might have to search for that. Um, but if all of that is too much for you and you still want to have a cocktail while you watch Mildred Pierce, go the Joan route. Vodka. Straight vodka on the rocks. Do it the way Joan does it, right? She never traveled without a suitcase with at least two bottles of vodka in it. Boom, there you go, you're all set. And if you want to trade out some other liquor for the mezcal in this same recipe. Uh, I would suggest gin or bourbon or <laughs> vodka. Although truthfully, like just drink it straight. Go the, go the Joan route. Okay, um, that is this week's cocktail, which um, I actually am gonna dedicate to all the frontline workers in this crazy crisis, especially those who may be mothers and are actually saving lives while they're trying to raise a family of their own. Um, thank God we're not affected here, but I salute those people. They are my real heroes. Cheers.